Bande Matram, welcome all of you. Happy Raja. So, this is a great day. You are going to uh, celebrate three days special Raja from uh, starting from today. This is only a beginning, Sajabaja. Then you have to celebrate your uh, Pahili Raja, then Sankranti, then uh, concluding day. Of the Raja. It is a great uh, function of uh, uh, celebrating the, you know, the your harvest. So this is a great function. Almost we um, celebrate with uh, pomp and splendor. This is a great ceremony, three days ceremony, and uh, one beginning is the preparation, and uh, with the end on 17th, we will go for the you know puja. Bhumi Puja. So the earth goddess will be worshipped in a very marveling way. So anyway, we are celebrating it in a great way. This is a great occasion. We are just preparing. And from, you know, second step, from uh, uh, this occasion onwards, from today onwards, you can expect um, uh, rains throughout. So, scorching heat. You will find no more. You will get some solace from the scorching heat. Oh, anyway, it is a harvesting occasion. Three days um, uh, we will celebrate in a pomp and splendor manner. Uh, again, I wish to um, say you at least happy Raja once again. And uh, the topic of discussion we are going to take um, um, very interestingly, organize your life. That is uh, yeah, the topic of discussion. Organize your life. Life, you know, two points are there. The line connecting, the straight line connecting these two lines, that is your lifeline. The first point is your birth and the last point is your death. So far this life is concerned. This is uh, your life, you can see, but uh, truest truth is that many lives you have covered, this is one life and after this also you are going to cover up a number of lives after later. So anyway, this is the lifeline from uh, covering, uh, starting from uh, birth to ending or uh, end point that is death. This is life. How you want to go to organize, you know? Aimless life is a miserable life. I, life must have an aim. That objective must be there. Suppose people don't know what really they have to do. They think, they feel, matter is everything. And accordingly, they put, um, they put forward themselves. Uh, they feel, um, anyway, will um, after birth, growth, saturation, decay and death. They have taken it for granted. Uh, this is what uh, happening. In a many cases, in, in almost everybody, in everybody's life, this is the story. And uh, some people, they are a little bit conscious. Uh, they know how to organize their life. Simply taking birth, uh, going for uh, um, study, then looking for job, earning livelihood, you know, getting married, and um, all, these are all mechanical life. Then you will grow up and finally you will find you are nowhere, saturation will come, then decay and finally you will oh, wait for the death. That is not life. Life is something else. For that you have to, you must be conscious what really life is. Unless otherwise you are very much conscious, you can utilize the uh, gifts um, that has been bestowed upon you. That the blessing is there. You must be there. So how you want to organize your life, that is what the topic of discussion for this uh, glorious morning and uh, mother course. Some can't keep a cupboard in order to, uh, in order or a uh, dryer in order. This is the scenario. Even they don't have to work. Even they don't have to talk. Even they don't have to live. Even they don't have to organize the life. So even very small things like keeping a cupboard in order or a dryer in order, they don't know. Some, not all, but some few are there. They are actually mm, uh, below par. So they may be in a uh, room uh, which looks um, very tidy, uh, very neat outwardly. And uh, you know, when you open the dryer or the cupboard, it is like a battlefield. 
mother course it is like a battlefield outwardly you will face something as they are very good room well decorated well administered they are all in line it is like this but thing is that you will inside when you open your cupboard you will find that something like a battle if no so a battlefield that's what you see even uh, some examples you have also seen even the dust very well and uh, neatly cleaned room outwardly you seeing it is there but the mother is coming directly entering uh, to the corner of the uh, room and uh, finding that the dust are there they are actually covered up and uh, this sadhak is um, um, and how it is strange how is it possible mother is coming and directly instead of moving looking here and there straight to the corner mother is coming and the seeing that the dust have been covered how is it and mother explains these are dust they have got their awareness they are complaining that uh, this is this is the thing that is happening even the buckets they keep complaining that uh, my longevity um, is very uh, getting reduced i want to sir but uh, my life span is getting reduced of sir for sir i do so it is something like if you open the mother course outwardly you will find the well neat room everything is fine in order but uh, if you open the drawer it is like a battlefield everything in a, a pell mell very interesting very interesting mother course top sentence you know it is something like a, a battlefield everything in pell mell so you find everything in a, in a jumble nothing arranged jumble here and there simply haphazardly life is like this under you can think you know one uh, very much one uh, top sentence you can find there you know, the goodness or badness of the about the village you where shall you get the news um, from the you know wasserman's um, Not to that um, no. pond is there where he, they are taking care. Accordingly, you can find the total scenario of the village. So these are they, these are the people with a um, poor little head in which um, ideas lie in the same state as they are um, material of this. ideas staying in the brain as in the material objects they have not organized their ideas unorganized ideas it like things are falling fallen apart like this so they are on not on, they have not organized their ideas they have not put them in order that is the scenario that is the truth mother course they have not put everything in order they um, live in a central uh, cerebral confusion another very interesting you know cerebral confusion top thing is the mother has used very um, um you know uh, interesting phase cerebral confusion you can imagine no where you will find a term like this cerebral confusion cerebral it, it, it relates to your brain cerebral hemisphere cerebrum cerebrum cerebral um so these are the things you normally find there cerebral confusion and um, uh, that is the sure sign i have never met an exception to this um, rule normally normally this is the go of the uh, human life to staying in the ordinary uh, phase of life so um, people who don't know how to keep their things uh, in order that is what they don't know how to manage their life how to organize their life how to keep the things in order they don't know even they are not interested to know normally in a pell mell in a battlefield simply they are living there without knowing how to live so their ideas are in a disorder in their heads ideas are in disorder in their heads uh, so material things are put to falling in disorder in the house always so uh, they exist together the most contrary ideas are put together ideas and the contrary ideas they have been put together because they don't know where really they are to put room has been decorated uh, maintained properly clear but the thing is that uh, cupboard is a battlefield a pell mell so this is what the really in the normal way we can find not enough um, a higher synthesis um, uh, don't you believe it 
simply because of a disorder and uh, incapacity to organize their ideas it is the per, for that only you must know incapacity to organize or um, you know a disorder so that is what they have taken it for granted without even least interest they don't have the outlook everything this uh, cerebral confusion they still simply they don't mind because they are not aware of what really to do how to organize the life so you don't need to speak um, even for 10 minutes with the people if you can manage to enter their room and uh, this is what the real scenario people come they come with their interest they visit you they talk to you but maximum 10 minutes 10 minutes will be a big time they can stay and talk more even they can uh, spend most of the time with you because you know that um, environment is uh, very much confused to each other so um, draw ads of their tables and uh, look into their cupboards uh, you know in what way they are this is what mother wants you are coming they they have to, they have invited you or not that is a different issue but anyway you have come but uh, come most and go just that is the phase um, um, very interestingly used for these people because uh, they come but the maximum 10 minutes even the 10 minutes also a great time they can manage they can stay because of this disorder confusion you can see they can see your tables your cupboards very hilarious so this is what normally people stay they, they are unable to you know, um, come out of that confusion again so mother what really what is the advice of the mother one must organize one's own things things are yours you are using you have brought it it is in your service so you must organize your things and uh, at the same time one's own ideas things outward ideas inward so both ideas and the things must be um, in order must be arranged in order in a proper order in the same way and must know exactly where things are and uh, able to go straight um, to them <clears throat> but to do, uh, doing the right thing at the right time with the right perception with the right interest in the right attitude uh, at the right time with the right interest that is what you have to do things must uh, <clears throat> have fallen apart okay you don't know but uh, now itself you have already you have got the idea likely you have to arrange your life that is what so that is expected from you because one's organization is uh, logical you have to organize it a lot of things are expected from you because you are uh, you claim to be civilized but uh, you are not civilized so it is your own logic um, it may be may not be your neighbor's logic because this logic this psychology everything belongs to you and uh, you know uh, you, you have uh, been uh, in that uh, permit in, in that order so you you are li li living with your own logic not with the neighbor's logic for that you have to organize yourself so not necessarily it is your logic but uh, organization being logical you know exactly uh, where a thing is and uh, i told you mother course um, uh, if they, if the thing is displaced you know immediately you have to arrange things will fall apart no problem because it is uh, um, uh, out of uh, you know unconsciousness or out of need something or out of environmental compulsion something goes wrong but thing is that you have to arrange the displaced things whatever and uh, you know it immediately and try to organize in a proper way and, and uh, those who can do um, that are generally those who can put their ideas into order and can also organize their character and uh, can finally control the movements that awareness must be there with which so what you have to do put the ideas into order and organize the character and finally control your movement that is these are the things you have to do and then if you make a progress you succeed in governing your physical life with this only the progress is possible without this no, you can't if you can't be able to organize your life then how can you organize how can you be able to organize the, or the life of the world that is what is most necessary you begin from yourself from inward outward is the, from inside outward is the rule if you can succeed in governing your uh, yourself then there is progress and you can govern the entire physical life
so you begin to have the control over your physical movements physical life on that you can govern your physical life you can have control over your physical movements that was if uh, you take life in that way you have to know you have to organize you have to go through you must do if you know that way truly it becomes interesting you will find interesting lot of things will come confusions will uh, you know uh, will be pushed away there will, there will be no confusion the latter if one lives in confusion disorder mother course if one lives in confusion a disorder and inner and outer chaos in which everything is mixed up that's what you must know some little bit stitch in time steps 9 if something is there if that you live in the confusion a disorder may be inner and or outer chaos so um, lives in uh, so that which um, which is everything mixed up confusion chaos disorder they will mix up and one is conscious of uh, nothing still less is master of things and uh, this is nothing you must know so organizing life in a proper order proper format in the proper um, um, shape that is inevitable with which you can progress and uh, this um, uh, harmony will come in life and uh, naturally you will find this cerebral confusion will go and the divine harmony will come to the place one day matram